Most Arduino projects use the delay function to control the frequency of some events, but it's just wrong and not precise. If some process doesn't always take the same amount of time to complete, the difference can add up causing some error. Let's just take the sample code from the official Arduino site and prove this with the most common ultrasonic sensor. The Arduino framework provides a timer which measures the time since startup in milliseconds. It's 32-bit unsigned, so store each run's timestamp in a 32-bit unsigned variable. Last timestamp stores the last run's timestamp, and the current timestamp will store the current one. On every run, store the current timestamp provided by the millis function and print the time difference to the serial port, which is current minus last timestamp. Modify the code to print everything nice and clean in one line, and don't forget to update the old value after each run. Now let's see it in action. The ultrasonic distance measurement's runtime highly depends on the distance. The speed of sound is about 340 meters per second, so the ultrasonic ping we want to measure travels 340 millimeters each millisecond. So in theory, an object 17 centimeters away takes to measure in 1 millisecond, 34 centimeters takes 2 milliseconds, and something as far as 1 meter takes almost 6 milliseconds. In practice, near measurements take a few milliseconds, and when I point the sensor to a far corner of the room, it's over 20 milliseconds. We added up to 4% timing error just by using delays, so fix this. Let's create a basic task, but first create a variable to store a new timestamp. This will hold the time when our task must run. And set the period. We could use a macro too, but it looks nicer to have another variable. Also, remove that ugly delay, we won't need that anymore. Put all the remaining code into a block. It would be nice to put all of these into a function, but keep it simple this time. Just extend our code with a check. Only run this code when it is time to run. To be precise, when the current time reach the task's timestamp. When this happens, increase the task value with the period to set its new time. And that's it. Check how does it work. Every measurement is done exactly 500 milliseconds apart. Please don't use delay for precise timing. Also, check out the detailed blog post, the link is in the description. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.